Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next math flipped lesson um, of the week. Today we're going to continue looking at input and output tables, but this time instead of our numbers growing and getting bigger, we're going to take a look at numbers that are decreasing or getting smaller. So I'd like for you to just remember as you're going through this video and as you reflect in the past videos that we've done, We've been using the operations of addition and multiplication because when we use those operations, our numbers increase. But whenever we're decreasing numbers and our numbers are decreasing, um, we're going to be looking at the operations of subtraction and division because those are the operations that we use whenever our numbers are decreasing. So good luck in this lesson. So our guiding question of today is how do you find the rule in a reducing pattern or in a pattern where numbers are decreasing? For example, find the rule, what are the next four steps? They give us these numbers, 50, 40, 31, 23, 16. In this lesson, you will learn about determining the rule in patterns that decrease by using a table. Let's review steps and rules. 15, 13, 11, and 9. 15 is my step 1, 13 is step 2, 11 is step 3, 9 is step 4, and so on. Our rule is whatever happens to those numbers as they go on through the steps. So in this case, our rule is subtract 2 or minus 2. And you can see that we didn't use addition or multiplication. We used um, subtraction or not in this case, but in a case that numbers are decreasing, we would also take a look at division because we know that division and subtraction are the operations we use when numbers are getting smaller. So we used subtraction in this case, and we decided that 15 minus 2 is 13, 13 minus 2 is 11, 11 minus 2 is 9, and then 9 minus 2 would continue our pattern. A common mistake that students make is when finding the rule in the pattern, you shouldn't assume that all patterns increase. That's what our patterns have been doing so far in our videos, but at this point, we need to take a look at patterns that decrease or numbers that get smaller. So we have the pattern 18, 15, 12, 9. And I'm noticing that my numbers obviously are decreasing or getting smaller. So my first instinct is to say, oh, I know that it's either division or subtraction. I'm going to go with subtraction here, and I'm going to say 18 minus, five, minus 3 is 15, 15 minus 3 is 12, 12 minus 3 is 9, and then I would continue my pattern and subtract 3 from the next couple of numbers. So we're going to use a table to check for the rule being used on the pattern, and just as a review, using a table helps us to organize our information that we're gaining um, when we're looking at patterns, and it helps us to not get all um, flustered and lose track of our data. We want to make sure that we're organizing our data in a way that works for us. So um, there are my numbers again, and I'm going to plug them into my table. So for step 1, I have 18, step 2, I have 15, step 3, I have 12, step 4, I have 9. So those are my steps, and then I'm going to plug in my rule. And I'm going to say 18 minus 3 is 15, 15 minus 3 is 12, 12 minus 3 is 9, and then I'm going to put minus 3 for steps 5, 6, and 7. So I know that 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So we're going to find the rule with these more challenging numbers, and these were the numbers that you saw um, in the beginning of our video. So we have the numbers 50, 40, 31, 23, and 16. And right now, I'm really not seeing a common pattern between these. I'm not, I can see that from 50 to 40, um, I subtract 10, but then when I get from 40 to 31, I know that's not the case because that if that were the case, it would be 40 to 30, then 30 to 20, and then 20 to 10. So that's not the case. It's not the pattern that I have. So I have to think of something a little bit different, okay? So I will plug in my rule down here, okay, just, you know, to give myself a little bit of peace of mind. So from 50, step one, I subtracted 10, and I got 40. Now here I'm looking and from 40 to 31, I'm noticing that I'm subtracting 9. Okay, so 10, 9, I'm seeing a pattern. I'm going to see if this pattern continues. So in step 1, I subtracted 10 and for step 2 I got 40. And then I took my number in step 2, which was 40, and subtracted 9 and got the number of 31. Now I'm going to see if I subtract 8 if that works for my my numbers that I have. So 31, OK, 
Okay, my step three number minus eight is in fact 23. So I'm looking at my numbers here, 10, nine, eight, hmm, what comes next? Well, I'm gonna try subtracting seven, see if that works. So 23 minus seven is indeed 16. So I'm gonna plug that in there. And so I know that I'm going to continue subtracting one less number. So minus 10, minus nine, minus eight, minus seven, minus six, Okay, so 16 minus 6 is 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, and then 5 minus 4 is 1. And whenever I'm looking at these different um, patterns, okay, I found a pattern here, but I can also find patterns within my numbers um, in my table. So as the step increases, the amount subtracted reduces or decreases. Okay, so as my steps are getting, you know, I'm increasing my steps from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight, my amount subtracted is decreasing 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. In this lesson, you learned about finding the rule for decreasing patterns by using a table.